keep me in storage when I'm not making these speeches. It's May! Happy May, everybody! It's May! <clears throat> Greetings from Coney Island. It's May! Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. The season begins. I'm Dick Ziggin. Artistic Director of Not-for-Profit Arts Organization, Coney Island, USA. This is my fourth weekly State of Coney Island address. Not as a real mayor, I'm not. Nevertheless, giving out some good advice and keeping you all informed. I know people are afraid. I know people are sick. I also know people are heroes and brave and stir crazy. For real advice, please continue to listen to Dr. Fauci and what uh, the mayor and governor of New York State are telling you to do. Please do it. For spiritual advice, maybe I can help. I'll try because I'm the permanently unelected mayor of your Coney Island of the mind. Uh, amusement park workers, Coney Islifiles, bur Coney Islifiles burlesque performers, with it, for it, never against it. I, I don't feel like yelling at you today like the past three weeks. I'm not an Italian mayor after all. This week we've hit two months of shelter at home. We already have routines. I have graphics with these speeches now. There's a schedule releasing our social media, how quickly things have changed. We have spring fever. We want to go out, but let's calm things down a bit. I don't want to yell at Brooklyn. I want to yell at stupid people at beaches in Florida and California. You stupid people at those beaches are wrecking it for us smart New Yorkers who want to safely reopen Coney Island. Brooklynites, don't be stupid. Don't follow Florida or California. We're smarter than them, New Yorkers. Don't be stupid, wear your masks. Don't be stupid, social distance. Mayor de Blasio says maybe the beaches can open. That's a good thing. Uh, fireworks only scheduled in Manhattan, but not Brooklyn. That's a little bit of a weird thing. And today, I'm filming this on Saturday, May 2nd. It's sunny. It's 70 degrees out. There's a lot of people in Coney Island. The mayor sent officers from Parks Department, sanitation, um, NYPD, essential services, uniform services. God bless you. You are our heroes. Why didn't the mayor give you masks to hand out for free? There were two free mass stations in Prospect Park, nothing in South Brooklyn. Um, that's enough of this lack of respect for South Brooklyn, especially from a Brooklyn mayor, but I'm not a politician, I'm not going there. Uh, but respect South Brooklyn, please everybody. Uh, major attractions at Coney Island are not stupid. They are doing the responsible thing. Uh, Luna Park and Nathan's and the Brooklyn Cyclones and the Ford Amphitheater and Dino's Wonder Wheel Park are having serious meetings trying to figure out when we're allowed to reopen, how we slowly reopen. We want to do it smart. Uh, some food and some bars for takeout are already open. I think at uh, some point in June, um, some rides should be open with social distancing. Freak shows, uh, the 
minor league baseball, rock concerts, that's gonna come last, but if we're not stupid, we can get there. Uh, here's this week's updates. Local news, if you're coming to Coney Island, you want to eat. I've already talked about how great a job Nathan's is doing, Footprints is doing, Williams Candy Beats Clam Stop. On Mermaid Avenue, um, Me Can't Ilaha. Did I get that right? No. Uh, me Can't Ilaha. Leha. Leha. Um, it's a Dominican place serving Spanish American food for takeout. Mermaid Avenue between West 15th and West 16th. I recommend the beef stew. Uh, Ruby's Bar is serving takeout alcohol on the boardwalk. Let's not go crazy. You can come to Coney Island, uh, but don't go crazy here. Wear a mask here, social distance here. Obey the rules here. Um, one of the features of these addresses is you can ask me questions via Twitter or Facebook or via my email, dziggin at coneyisland.com. Questions um, such as, um, somebody asks, will there be a mermaid parade in some form on some date? Because if not, I'm going to do my own mermaid parade with my own group and my friends, and we're going to march and do a beach thing on June 20th and maybe do a virtual thing on Zoom. No. It is the Mermaid Parade that I founded that belongs to Coney Island, USA. We've got a plan. We're working hard. I promise you, in some way, in some version, there will be a 2020 Mermaid Parade. Do not do your own Mermaid Parade, because our Mermaid Parade will be better. It's the original. Goofy questions uh, keep coming in. Do people want to see the pictures of Luna Park's major water flume roller coaster under construction and want me to tell more? Well, there is an official name. There is artwork, but that's for Luna Park NYC to release. If you go to their website, their Twitter, Luna Park NYC, you can see the info. Meanwhile, I'm scooping them with these incredible photos. Uh, major parts for that brand new huge ride just got delivered. Look at that. That is um, being unloaded off of a truck. That is a complete staircase unit that arrived. You see those things that look like conveyor belts? I, I don't work for Luna Park. I'm just um, intelligent and speculating, but that looks like a conveyor belt lift hill to me. And this third photo, there's all these pieces of track all over the place ready uh, to be put together like an erector set. Uh, once uh, Luna Park is allowed to restart construction. Um, question from Mr. Ricky L. These are real questions from real people. Hi, Ricky. Ricky L. from Queens asked, I love the Coney Island Circus Sideshow, but you might be dark for a while. How can I get my sideshow fix? Well, go to ConeyIsland.com. Uh, beside my weekly speeches, which will be released every Sunday at noon, um, there will be interviews with sideshow performers, and you'll be the first to know uh, when we open, if not a sideshow, anything with the sideshow performers. Marcy W. from Mill Basin. I know you, Marcy. I owe you a drink. I know. Marcy from Mill Basin asks, you've got a roller coaster car in the freak bar. What's the story with that? Well, that roller coaster car is a fully restored, genuine 1920 front car of the famous tornado roller coaster in Coney Island 
donated to the Coney Island Museum and fully restored. It is part of the collection of the Coney Island Museum. Uh, the reason it's down in the bar and not up here in the museum, it's really heavy. Um, what about young performers, independent contractors, gig workers um, who have jobs in restaurants that are gone, in bars that are gone, who do off-Broadway shows which are closed, <coughs> who do burlesque performances and make some of the money to pay the rent. Um, you're on the front line. And I feel for you, the first thing you should do, the very first thing is make sure you filed for unemployment no matter how difficult. Um, pursue a stimulus check, even if you're an independent contractor. There are people who will help you do that. And I also recommend the Actors Fund. Please hang in there, we need you. Um, are there other questions, questions from the press here in the Coney Island Museum? Is there anything that can be done about the narrowed and disgustingly filthy pathways leading up to the boardwalk? Um, I have to admit true that. Now understand, um, like the rest of New York, Coney Island wasn't prepared to shut down. There was construction going on at the end of Stillwell Avenue at the end of West 15th Street and the end of West 16th Street. Um, all of that got fenced off. You can still walk the sidewalks down the end of those streets and up to the boardwalk 24 seven, but they are narrow. Um, to be honest, some of them are filthy. Um, I'm sure we will do our best to clean them up. But again, if you're coming here, be prepared. The rides are not yet open. Only a few restaurants are open. Uh, there is construction going on. Some of it stalled. Coney Island's a bit dirty. Yes, the beach and the ocean are here. Yes, Coney Island is so cool to photograph, especially when it's shut down. Uh, but please come prepared. Any more questions? How do you feel about the large crowds congregating at Nathan's? OK, so that uh, Anthony from Bensonhurst is here in the audience today. Anthony wants to know about the large uh, crowds in front of Nathan's. Nathan's is probably up till now been doing the best job uh, of all in the neighborhood, take out food, of socially distancing, having um, you know people spaced out, having ropes and stanchions on the floor. And today, because it's beautiful and people have spring fever and it's 70 degrees, all of that's being overcrowded. So. Don't be stupid, take it easy, don't rush the line, and give us time at Coney Island, including Nathan's, to figure out how to do this. Um, I also have a question for all of you. Um, did you remember the big announcement at our website, ConeyIsland.com, about the put on a funny face mask contest sponsored by Coney Island USA and presented by Spectrum New York One News. Um, it's a great contest. You're all wearing masks. Most of you are artists. Enter the contest. It's fun. Um, it's continuing our mission to recognize what's trending in popular culture, and you should be part of it. Anyway, um, you know the routine. Wear your mask, keep away from old people, uh, wash your hands all the time, listen to Dr. Fauci. Don't be stupid, be Brooklyn smart. Don't be like those dummies in South Florida and South California. Keep your eyes on ConeyIsland.com. Send me questions for next week. 
Uh, our social media will keep you up to date. Talk to you again next week. Stay healthy. Stay comfy. Please shop. Please donate. ConeyIsland.com. And especially, don't be stupid. Wish you were here.